Baylor Coaches Show on this Thursday evening live from Rudy's. we got a great crowd here this evening. We appreciate each and every one of you. It's a beautiful day here in Central Texas, and uh, we got a fun show lined up for you. First off, we'll hear from Joey Scrivano, Baylor women's tennis coach. We look forward to visiting with Coach Scrivano, and then Mac Rhodes will be with us, Baylor's Director of Athletics. What can we talk to Mac about when he is here this evening? We'll find some things, and we'll begin with Coach Scrivano right after this. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm not hearing you. Can you turn him up? Hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, Nobody covers football in Central Texas one, two, like ESPN Central one, two, Texas. One, two, one, two. Back on the Baylor Coaches Show tonight, live from Rudy's. Thanks to our host here at Rudy's Real Texas Barbecue. Hey, there's Raul back there. Y'all be sure and say hi to him and say thanks very much. And Josh is here and the great Rudy's crew. And fun place uh, to come every Thursday. Folks, join me in welcoming Baylor's women's tennis coach, Joey Scrivano, with us, our leadoff guest this evening. Thank you. Welcome to you. Glad yeah. you're here. Yeah, thanks, John. Always great to speak with you. It's uh, kind of outdoor tennis weather right yes. now, isn't it? It is. It's, uh, this is exactly what uh, we want. You know, it's uh, about 75 degrees, and, and it's not too windy. And, yeah, so this is, this is uh, spring for sure. Yeah. Wouldn't have said that uh, 24 hours ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but today true. it is uh, absolutely beautiful. you got a couple yeah. of home matches coming up this yes. weekend. Should be great. And what a way to wind up Oklahoma on yeah. Friday That's and right. Texas on Sunday. Yeah, we, two big conference opponents and uh, uh, big 12 rivals. Um, so, yeah, we're excited. We're excited to play, get back out there and compete. And noon on uh, noon on Friday. Yes. We were talking about that. What's your thinking there to play at noon on a Friday? Yeah, uh, you know we found that uh, we we get a little more students to come out yeah. at noon, and then of course Baylor athletic staff, and then uh, you know just general Baylor athletics uh, uh, faculty come out too. So just it's just been a good good time, and then we get a little more time to recover for the Sunday match. So that's really been the the rationale behind it yeah i like that uh, and then one o'clock on sunday right for uh, texas on sunday exactly yeah yeah and it, and this weekend we'll have uh you know we have a great giveaway uh for tomorrow at noon we have uh you know visors women's tennis oh, visors so nice. really cool and then on sunday we have our cup tennis program it'll be our last session of the year and uh, we'll be giving racket, uh, tennis racket away for the kiddos. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fantastic. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. 
the Cup tennis program has just been spectacular, yeah, and it's you. great. I mean, do you get a do you get a really good uh, turnout for that every time you host it? Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's sometimes yes and sometimes no, and uh, you know, it just it just happens what parents have going on. Sure. You know? Yeah. Um, but uh, it's been growing over the years. You know, we've been doing it for over a decade, and uh, we've we've seen a lot of success with it. So we're excited that. Uh, Sunday, we're able to give a you know a Dunlop bracket away, um, and that's a big deal. So, any kiddos that want to you know maybe pick up tennis or or just uh, give it a, you know just give it a shot, then yeah. this is great great opportunity for I them. I love that. Yeah, you're uh, creating tennis fans, tennis yeah. players for the yeah. future with those young kids. Yeah, that's what it's all about: growing the game yeah. and uh, giving back. How about your boys, uh, Nico and Luca? Are they <laughs> tennis players? They are. Yeah. Well, yeah, Nico, uh, he, he's there been playing he for a couple of years now. Right. And uh, and then Luca as well. Luca's a little more shy than Nico. So okay. he, he doesn't uh, he doesn't partake <laughs> in the cup tennis uh, on a regular basis. But Nico's been steady with it. So it's fun. Very good. So this season for you, uh, ranked in the top 40. Uh, another really good season. I think you're 16 and 9 right now, 7 and 4 in the Big 12 with those two matches we talked about to close things out. Yeah. I mean, you're having a really good season. Oh, yeah, thanks, John. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's it, there's so much parity in college tennis. Um, you know, on the women's side, there's 300 programs, and they're all, uh, you know, fighting to get in the, you know, into the tournament, to get in the big dance. So for us to be consistently in that top 40 and, uh, and, and be able to have success in the NCAAs, is, is, it's not easy. Yeah. Winning's not easy. <laughs> Losing's easy. Winning's right. very hard. Uh, Put that on a billboard. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, so, you know, I'm really proud of the team. They've, they've uh, persevered all season long. And, uh, and, and in the matches that uh, we really needed to pull through, they, they did a great job. So we're in, we're in a really good position right now. Big win for uh, for you guys over SMU. What a, what a great victory yeah. that was! Yeah, I mean that was a that was basically like a play in match right. to the NCAA <laughs> tournament, and uh, we faced them a lot in the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, that was a big match because I really for us that that I think that just solidified us getting into nice. the tournament. Uh -huh. and, and unfortunately for them, they got some more work to do. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but it's always good to play those in-state rivals, and there's a lot of history between, you know, those two schools, so it's fun to win those ones. And you're 9-1 and one at home this year. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you feel like you have a real good home court advantage? Yeah. Well, the community just is so good about coming out and uh, supporting our student-athletes, you know, whether it's tennis or any sport for that matter. Um, and in tennis, we have some real diehard loyal fans, and some of them are here tonight, and that makes a big difference, you know. The the, the athletes feel that, and uh, in tennis, you don't need to have uh, the stands packed. But if you have a good crowd and they're vocal and they're really positive, then it makes a difference. Yeah. Hope you're uh, 11 and one at home at the end yes. of the week. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> That'd yes. be huge. I like the it? way you're thinking. Uh huh. And that would be uh, two big wins to end the season. And uh, Oklahoma is tomorrow they're ranked number eight in the nation. Texas mm -hmm. ranked number 20. Mm -hmm. They are the opponents uh, coming up on on uh, Sunday. Do I have that right? Oklahoma tomorrow, Texas yes, Sunday? exactly. Gotcha. Yep. Good. Exactly. All right, uh, we'll take a break. Back with more in just a moment. Coach Joey Scrivano, our first guest on the Baylor Coaches Show, live from Rudy's. Thanks again to our host here at Rudy's, and we'll be right back after this. When we all join hands to support... Hello, hello? We don't... Hey, hey, all right. We move... Nice. Sorry, I mean, I... We create life-changing opportunities Hold on, just a second. on the field, in the classroom, in the laboratory, and in life for generations to come. So get connected. Get involved. Learn how at baylor.edu slash alumni. Join us April 18th at the Texas Sports Hall of Fame in Waco for our next Lunch with a Legend, presented by Baylor alumni. All right, so you're good, me and everything. The guest will be former Baylor and NFL running back Alfred Anderson. It's oh. Thursday, April 18th, beginning at 11. No, no, I get you. You're good. And tickets are available now by calling 254-710-8300. Join us as we hear from former Baylor great Alfred Anderson, presented by Baylor Alumni Sports Outreach. TFNB Your Bank for Life is the official local bank of Baylor Athletics. 
Find out why more Central Texas are making TFNB their bank for life. Sign up for our Edge checking and savings accounts to earn interest or cash back. With five convenient locations and an award-winning mobile app, banking has never been easier. TFNB, your bank for life. Member FDIC. Kids can now join the Baylor Cup Club, presented by Green Eye Associates, the official kids club of Baylor Athletics. Fans 12 and under can register for the local... Hey, no problem. I don't know why I couldn't get returned to that one, but... Exclusive benefits... And this one's the one that's on the router, so I knew it would work. I, I should have just did that, but I didn't think about it. Exclusive giveaway access and their own membership package. To register your cub, please visit BaylorBears.com slash Cub Club. Sign your cub up today and sick them bears. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. Welcome back on the Baylor Coaches Show. We are brought to you in part by the Baylor Club at McLean Stadium. Hey, Baylor fans, discover the perfect venue for your next event at the Baylor Club. Situated in the heart of the action at McLean Stadium, whether it's a wedding, a fundraiser, a corporate event, they've got the gourmet dining and views to make it memorable. That is the Baylor Club at McLean Stadium. We're also brought to you by TFNB, your bank for life, the official local bank of Baylor Athletics. Find out why more Central Texans are making TFNB their bank for life by stopping by any one of their five locations or visiting tfnbtx.com and Sikkim Bears. Continuing with Coach Joey Scrivano, Baylor Women's Tennis, and uh, your 22nd season at Baylor. I was just kind of reviewing that. Man, you have... <laughs> You've seen a lot, in not just in your sport, but a lot in 22 seasons. Yeah, it's amazing how time flies when you're, you know, <laughs> you're busy and having fun. And uh, it's been an amazing, uh, you know, two decades at Baylor. I, you know, I never could have predicted that, but um, I wouldn't change anything. It's yeah. been awesome. That's cool. Yeah. How has, uh, not just Baylor, but how has your sport changed yeah. over two decades? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, I think just uh, everything's changed. I think the kids have changed, the parents have changed. Uh, <laughs> you know, the uh, this is not an NIL question yes, either. Yeah, it's just, yeah, and, that's and, another. Yeah, yeah, and that's the you know that's the more obvious stuff that's just changed right. with the college athletics. But um, it, it's it's vastly different than it, than it was when I started. But you know, change is the only thing that's constant. So <laughs> it's just adjusting to it and and. Uh, but and, and keeping you know, no matter what uh, what year it's been, it's just focus on teaching kids, mentoring them, coaching them, um, and being a partner in this journey. You know, this college these college years are so important. Uh, they're so critical in their lives, and it's just being a partner with them and helping them see what they can become. That's great. You know, so uh, it's just believing in young people and trying to push them. Yeah, that's a great approach. Uh, coaching is still coaching, isn't it? Oh, I mean, yeah, there's some exactly. different things surrounding it, but coaching is still yeah, coaching. No, it's it's just uh, it's doing it for the right reasons, yeah. and uh, you know, winning's a bonus, and we all want to win. You know, <laughs> with, trust me, I want to win more than anybody. Um, but at the same time, you got to just help help young people grow and learn and, and become better versions of themselves. So that's what it's really about. Good. End of the season, uh, last two home matches, as we talked about coming up this weekend. And Friday will be senior day. And you've got one senior to recognize, Mishka Kadlakova, uh, transfer from Iowa State. And she's having a great yeah. senior season, yeah. isn't she? Yeah, she was the Big 12 student athlete of the year in our sport uh, last year at Iowa State. And for us to uh, – you know, to, to get her at Baylor was a big, big deal. So, and she's really delivered, you know, you know, her results speak for, for itself. Um, but she's just been such a great leader off the court. Yeah. And um, we're just really excited for, you know, that we, we've had uh, the chance to coach her and that she's a Baylor bear. Yeah. Uh, that scholar athlete of the year last year. Uh, mm -hmm. Gosh, that is so impressive. Yeah. Because if you don't know, in the big 12, each sport, has their, like the women's tennis scholar athlete of the year. You know, yeah. men's tennis will have one. Baseball will have one. Yeah. So you think about, you know, the competition there. Oh, yeah. And to be named as the scholar athlete of the year is a yeah. tremendous accomplishment. Yeah, it's, it, it just speaks volumes to her dedication to all the small things, you know, uh, you know in the classroom and uh, obviously on the court, you know, performing. you got to perform on and off the court to, to earn an, uh, an accolade like that. And, 
We're just happy she's at Baylor. Yeah. That's for sure. Good. So she'll be the only senior rec you recognize on Friday? And and then we have uh, Isabella Harvison, Isabella? Who, uh -huh. who's uh, in grad school. Mm -hmm. So she, uh, she she's uh, very deserving of having two senior days. So <laughs> last year we uh, honored yeah. her, and uh, and then she decided to come back for, for that uh, grad year, and she's been tremendous. So She is having a great year, yes. right? 20-8 yes. and eight record, 12-4 and four mark in the spring. Isabella, yeah. I guess both of them are sort of playing like you'd like. First career, you know, it's kind of neat. And help me remember, she's from Slovakia? Yes. Is that right? Yeah, okay. yeah. she's from Banska Bystrica, Slovakia, <laughs> which is where our associate head coach, Lenka Brusova, is from. Oh, it is? Yeah, huh. so there's uh, – and in, in over the years, I've coached – a lot of All-Americans that have come from that town. Wow. Yeah, so there's the something pipeline. in the water there. There's something good there. Yeah. There's, there's, is there a statue of Lenka in that city? There should be. Uh, yes, uh, there should yeah, be. She, she, yeah, as we, there should be one in our facility because she, she made a massive impact. So. Very cool. That is, sounds great. Yeah. All right, so uh, tell us a preview of Oklahoma. I yeah. think they've won four in a row coming in. You'll meet them tomorrow. Yeah. And then Texas has won five in a row. Both of them yeah. are hot coming in on yeah. Sunday. Well, you know, they're both powerhouse teams at the moment, and it's going to be a big challenge for us. But that's, what, that's why we play the matches. You know, it's, it's, uh, records go out the window when you, you know, when you just show up and compete. So, you know, our, our objective is just to get our team to really focus in on all the little, little things that really make a big difference. And they know what those things are. We've, we've been working uh, very hard on, on just improving this team as, as the season's progressed. And uh, they've made a lot of strides. So we're, we're proud of this group. Is there any sense uh, Oklahoma and Texas are leaving, you know, going yeah. to the SEC at the end of this year? Uh, you may see them in the Big 12 tournament. You could see them in the NCAAs. But this is the final regularly scheduled matches yeah. against them. Is that motivation in yeah. any way to your team? I mean, we would love to send them off on their merry yeah. way with a, with a loss. <laughs> I mean, right. Don't get me wrong here. Yeah. Um, but I think for – it's not really about that for us. It's about just we got to prepare and do our thing. And uh, if we do our thing really well, then, then that, that translates into winning. So if we do the work, that transla translates into wins, and that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, very good. All right, noon tomorrow against Oklahoma, 1 o'clock on Sunday against Texas. And that ends the regular season. Then it's on to the Big 12 championships. And I didn't realize till this week, uh, I just hadn't looked at it, Oklahoma State is mm -hmm. having an unbelievable yeah. year, yeah. aren't they? They're the, yeah, undefeated, number one yeah. team in the country. Good and grief. Yeah, they, you know, they've, they've really – made a good transition into the new era of college athletics right. and and um you know they're reaping the, the the benefits of that right now yeah and they are hosting yes. the big 12 championships yes. yeah. so things going well yeah. for the cowgirls up <laughs> yeah, there they are. yeah yeah <laughs> very so. good all right let's uh, take a break when we come back we've got some questions from the audience for you okay. you ready for that absolutely that'll be good nico may have a question for That's you true. too so nico just uh come on up or pass him up we are at rudy's thanks to our host here at rudy's a proud sponsor of Baylor Women's Tennis and Baylor Athletics. Be sure to stop by your local Rudy's or rudys.com for some real Texas barbecue. Enjoy 100% oak smoked meats, delicious sides, and Rudy's signature sauce. Don't forget Rudy serves breakfast tacos every day until 10 a.m. Thanks again to our host at Rudy's, and we'll be right back on the Baylor Coaches Show right after this. The Toyota Tundra's powerful, available iForce V6 engine means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. To your neighbor, it means helping them with their new chainsaw carving hobby. What do you think of this thing, eh? It's a bearfish bird man wood carving, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. To your cousins, the Tundra means as they jump off the boat onto the sandbar. Now watch this flip. No, don't. You're going to... Cannonball! Definitely near to your co-pilots the all right extra comfortable journey. Yeah, yeah, we're good I, If you didn't it was, it was kind of like that Broadcast two weeks ago if you didn't know <sighs> I was wrong, you know <laughs> You sure can and to you the tundra means Whoa Test drive the tundra at your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com today Toyota, let's go places See packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability. 
Introducing the Sikkim Podcast, a weekly storytelling podcast produced by Sport and Story, the content team behind Baylor Plus. Hopefully people feel that I was approachable, but also that I knew the game. Hosted by me, John Morris. The Sikkim Podcast features in-depth interviews with current and former student-athletes and coaches. As a coach, why you coach is to see other people happy and successful. Subscribe today wherever you get your podcasts. Sikkim Bears. Are you ready to elevate your Waco experience to a whole new level? Look no further than the Baylor Club, where you can indulge yes. in one-of-a-kind luxury and unwind in our exclusive lounge area. Located in the heart of McLean Stadium, this elite club offers a five-star member atmosphere for all your work and play needs. With a master culinary team and outstanding hospitality, can I pull? take pampering to a whole new level. For in- I don't know how that would be possible. He's not even at station. 254-710-88. What is I- you're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. Back at the Baylor Coaches Show live from Rudy. Hold on, hold on, hold on John. John. Go. And back on the Baylor Coaches Show live from Rudy's this evening. We appreciate everyone that is with us. Continuing with Coach Joey Scrivano, Baylor Women's Tennis. And we've got some uh, questions from the audience, Coach. These are our First Place Foods Ask the Coach. First Place Foods, that's a darn good pickle. And first, uh, we've got a question from Scott Davidson is here. Oh, Scott was yes. here when I got here. Is there a more dedicated fan of Baylor tennis than Scott Davidson. Absolutely not. Yeah. He's, he's number one. That's great. Scott, yeah. we appreciate you yeah. very much and glad you're here tonight. He made a point to be here be- yes. knowing that you would be here. A couple of questions from Scott. Which player or two have improved the most during the 2024 season? Yeah, That's a great question. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing when a coach doesn't have just two names that stand out. So uh, really, it's been a team effort. Um, I mean, if I had to say, I mean, M- Mishka, who was um, already a very strong player, obviously, but she played lower in the lineup at Iowa State. So for her to, to, um, to come here, play number one, and have the record that she's had uh, really speaks volumes to her growth. Um, and then I would probably say, you know, um, uh, Susanna Kubaka, our freshman from Poland, um, you know, she she came in. She had some kind of uh, mechanical deficiencies with her game that we don't. You're not going to notice now, but she's really improved on uh, in the fall and, and and fixed some things that are not easy to fix. So, uh, full credit to her. She's done a remarkable job. So yeah, I would put those two. But they're you know, I could really say this about every player on our team this year. So. That's good that that's yeah. not an easy answer. Yeah, exactly. you got a lot yeah. of candidates. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Yeah. All right, another question from Scott. Who, uh, which player has shown the most leadership this year? Okay, yeah. Um, I'd probably say uh, Mishka and Isabella, you know. Um, and that's, like you said earlier, John, you want to see that from your seniors. Uh, but they've, they've really uh, have taken the reins and, and have stepped up and, uh, and, and they're a big reason why our team has matured a lot. You know, you got to have the players have to kind of police each other and, and hold each other accountable, and they've done a good job of that. So, yeah, really proud of them. Good. Scott, good questions. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, thanks, Scott. we got a question from Victor. Where's Victor asking this question? Victor scanning. All right. Victor says, is Baylor or is Baylor Athletics making any adjustments for the new conference teams? New conference teams. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know, first thing, we're going to be traveling a lot more, a lot further, and just a lot more often, it seems like, next season. So <laughs> That's true. I think they're adjusting the uh, travel budget. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think ultimately, um, you know, behind the scenes, there, it's been pretty seamless uh, with the transition to the new, new teams and the new, you know, just basically new scheduling, new everything. Right. So, yeah. Um, but we're excited. You know, we're excited that uh, the Big 12 is thriving and that uh, we have a bright future. That's the main thing. Yeah. And you'll do it again next year. Four new teams. Yes. Do all of them have women's tennis? Four coming in next year? Yes, they do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. a little more travel. <laughs> a little more travel, a little more dealing with, you know, altitude and mm-hmm. just um, just more variables. But that makes your team tougher and more resilient. Yeah. So. Good. 
Yeah. Is there a uh, uh, getting to know you phase with these new teams at all? Anything like that, or it's just no. just competition? It's competition. You know, you go from being pretty friendly when they're not in the conference to <laughs> you, f you find out what uh, what they're all about when you start competing. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> good. All right, good yeah. question, Victor. Thank you very much. Uh, here's a question from Emmett Flores. Emmett is right here. Emmett, by the way, is retiring at the end of the oh, year. Wow. Emmett, I don't Congrats. know what we're going to do without you. How many yes. years, Emmett, with Baylor? How many? 32 wow. years for oh. Emmett Flores. So yeah. we wish you well in retirement. And Emmett's got a good question. Uh, it sounds like it's a setup to me. But, <laughs> Coach Joey, have you or your tennis players played pickleball? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for the question, Emmett. And uh, more importantly, just thank you for 32 years. That's pretty darn amazing. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm going to try to try to emulate that if I can. Okay. <laughs> you got to talk to Mac about that, John. Yeah, when okay. He gets up here. We're, but, we're on it. Um, no, I, you know, pickleball. Actually, I think I've I've played it one time. Uh, I'm not a big pickleball guy, and I'm not big on pickleball for my players. <laughs> I love the sport for other reasons, but if you're if you play tennis, you have to play tennis. Right. If you start playing other sports. You lose your you lose your mechanics pretty fast, so um, we tell them you'll you know pickleballs for after your eligibility is done. <laughs> yeah. Emmett, it's for older guys yeah. like us, okay? Is what pickleball is, and I would think you wouldn't want. I mean, you've got the swing, the stroke in yeah. tennis, which you would have to do adjust. Yeah, I would think for pickleball, pickleball, yes. and you probably don't want to do that. No, you, you really to play great tennis, you have to treat the ball like it's. Um, it weighs like a pound or two because you've got to really use your entire body to, to hit the ball properly, which uh, it's incredibly hard to do. And, and actually very few players are efficient with their body. So when they play sports like pickleball where the ball's very light and they can just play with the, the forearm and wrist, that doesn't translate very well to tennis. So we're trying to keep our kids away from pickleball. And, uh, and even just hitting around leisurely, we don't want them to do that because it, it really messes up their form. Wow, I guess that's right. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, competitive tennis at your level is, uh, gosh, it's got to be the whole body into the The whole body, yeah. 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 It's, like it's more, the mechanics are more similar to golf than people realize. Huh, really? Yeah, you, you have to really be uh, using your body efficiently, and uh, you've got to get biomechanics right. And yeah. It's a game of physics. You've got to get physics on your side. So. All right, final thought. You're the biggest uh, Boston Celtics fan I know. <laughs> Uh, have been since you got here. The Celtics having a good year. Are you yeah. encouraged? Well, they've been the number one team in the regular season, so that's a great thing. That's that's a good sign. But uh, the playoffs, it's a whole different game in the playoffs. Right. So uh, I'm, we're keeping our fingers crossed. Me and Nico, are, uh, he's become a big Celtics fan, so nice. we're keeping our fingers. He asked me every day, are we going to win the championship? Really? So, yeah, nice. he thinks I have some crystal ball or something. <laughs> but. Yeah, I've seen the jersey, Nico. It <laughs> looks good on you. So, uh, so that's good. Well, good luck to your Celtics. Yeah. More importantly, good luck to you yes. and your team this weekend. So it is Oklahoma Friday at noon. So make a point to come out to the Herd Tennis Center and uh, see women's tennis versus Oklahoma at noon on Friday, then 1 o'clock on Sunday versus Texas, and that will close the regular season for uh, Baylor women's tennis. Then it's on to the Big 12 championships and on to the NCAAs. Y you don't have any way of knowing yet where you'd go, no, do you? not yet, not yeah. yet. But, uh, but we'll be happy to get in and compete. So that's go what wherever. we'll do. Just we'll, tell we'll, us where to go. We'll represent Baylor well. Very cool. Thanks for being here. Yes. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Yes, thank you. All right, Joey Scrivano, Baylor women's tennis coach with us. And they close the regular season coming up this weekend. All right, we'll take a break and uh, have more when we come back on the Baylor Coaches Show. Mac Rhodes will join us, Baylor's director of athletics. We'll visit with Mac when we come back live from Rudy's. Baylor Plus is the home for Baylor basketball fans all season long. I don't sleep on game days because I'm too excited. Go behind closed doors and experience Baylor basketball like never before. I came to coach in top five matchups. We're going to turn the tide on them. Do we got them? Start your free seven-day trial at BaylorPlus.com and gain instant access to the full library of content.
Premier ER and Urgent Care has all the convenience of urgent care with all the expertise of an ER, all under one roof. At every visit, be seen by ER-trained staff with on-site lab and CT, x-ray, ultrasound. Hey, y'all still getting that weird you pay for noise? Receive, and we are in network with most major insurance providers. Premier ER and Urgent Care has four convenient locations serving Texas, San Marcos, Temple, Waco, and Woodway. To learn more, visit www. That is weird. I hate my hmm. Is he hearing me? I no, that wouldn't be it. Can't wait to get out. You ask me why. And what I'll say to you is true. Well, you can get breakfast tacos at Rudy's Barbecue. Oh, yeah, you were getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking to uh, Tom. Yeah. Barbecue. Come on up. It's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. All right, last spot. Looking to connect with Baylor alums in your area? Baylor alumni can help. Looking to host a watch party in your city? Baylor alumni can get you started. Want to step out in your community and serve with other alums? Baylor alumni is... It's not going over the air or, or into the... I mean, no, he, only he can hear it. Learn how at baylor.edu slash alumni. I don't... Mem- you're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. Scott and White, Southwest Sports Medicine and Orthopedics Health Tip for the Week. Don't let pain slow you down. We diagnose and treat sports-related injuries and provide orthopedic services for athletes and non-athletes alike. Visit a Baylor Scott and White Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Specialist and move like you used to. And as we turn the bottom of the hour, folks, join me in welcoming Baylor Athletic Director Mac Rhodes with us here at Rudy's. Mac, welcome. Thank to you. you. Thanks Thank you for, for being me. here. Uh, outstanding. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm fired <laughs> up. Today's been a good day. I don't know why, but it's been a good Today, day. I've heard that from everybody here. Today has been a really good day and just a nice, quiet spring for you, right? Like and a nice, they always quiet are. Spring. <laughs> are they ever quiet? Well, let's, uh, let's start with that. Let's address what Kevin Gall would call the elephant in the room. Um, how about uh, the news this morning? Scott Drew staying at Baylor as the Bears head basketball coach. Well, I think number one, yes, round of, round of applause. Yeah, so exactly. I, uh, and thank you, everyone, for, for being here. But uh, I, I know everybody out in the audience is extremely happy, but I promise you there's nobody happier than, than, <laughs> than me. So, um, but, you know, really, um, you know, I'll share, share three things. And, um, you know, I think the, the, the first thing, and, and all of you know this, uh, Baylor is a really special place. It, it is. And uh, there are a lot of great places, but, but Baylor is a special place. And, you know, we, we talk about this. We talk about, you know, we've got a lot of nice things. Uh, we do. And we're blessed. And all of you have given so graciously, et cetera. But it's never been about what we have. It's always been about who we are. And uh, we've, we've got a culture. Uh, we, you've been such a big part of that, John. We've got a culture of, of, uh, of community, a culture of people that, that care for one another, uh, a culture of where people put God, Jesus first, um, others uh, before themselves. You know, we have that plaque on, the, on our desk that, that talks about there's no limit to what you can, you can accomplish if you don't mind who gets the credit. So that, that is number one. I mean, we've just, it, Baylor is just a special, special place. You know, two, I think everybody's read, you know, Scott's statement that, that he released, and uh, that is exactly how he handled the entire process. Mm-hmm. Just um, really prayerful and thoughtful with his, with his family and uh, just, you know, grateful for, for that. And then the, the third thing is, um, you know, I'm blessed. I'm grateful to, to have a wonderful relationship with, uh, with Scott. We have a transparent relationship. Uh, we had great conversation through, throughout all of, uh, all of this, right? And, um, and uh, we, we had some really difficult conversation. Uh, but the, the one thing that, that both him and I know is 
we uh, we love each other, and uh, and that was always you know foundational to to any conversation that that we had, and uh, just really really grateful for his friendship. So um, you know, like all of you, uh, we're blessed that uh, Scott Drew is is leading our program and. You know, uh, we have great people, and so there's always going to be interest in our great people. We've got other great coaches, and because it's not maybe basketball or football, it doesn't get the publicity. Uh, but we've got great people, and they're always going to be interested, and, and uh, we're blessed that, uh, that they're here at Baylor University. Yeah, that's great. What uh – What's it been like the last few days? Uh, <laughs> can you uh, capsulize what that's been like for you I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean, trying to be transparent, I mean, it's, uh, it's emotional. Um, it is. It's exhausting. Um, you know, you uh, have so many different conversations with so many different people. You know, uh, Scott and I didn't talk about his contract. We, didn't t- we talked about life. We talked about family. Uh, it's all of the other conversations that you have, whether it's with border regents and or uh, and or donors and, and, and other folks and, and people at the institution, and you know you're you're doing the 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 very very best you can to 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 keep somebody that you really care and and uh, and and love, and at the same time you 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 need to know and understand reality and put all the work in, you know, to to be prepared to. Um, go out and find somebody else if, if God, you know, had called, you know, Scott to go, go somewhere else. And so um, that's, that's a snapshot. And yeah. it's, uh, it's been a lot grateful for, for my wife, Amy, that uh, is always so supportive. And, you know, when I walk in at 11 p.m. and I don't want to say a word, I just, <laughs> I just hello, and I just want to sit there and yeah. just um, – she, she gets that and understands that. And uh, – so, again, I'm, I'm blessed. Baylor, like I said, is a special place and uh, a lot of love and support. It's really cool. I will tell you this. Uh, the number of text messages that I, that I received were people just saying, hey, Mac, praying for you, yeah. just thinking about you, praying for you. That, those, those little things, right, um, go a, a long, long way. Mm-hmm. And the relationship that you've built through the years with, with Coach Drew, but with all the coaches – it, it, it pays off, doesn't it? In times like this, you don't have to make an effort to show him how much you care and how much Baylor cares about him. That's, that's been born over the last few years. It has. I mean, if you're trying to do that, you know, right. at, at this point in time, it's, it's, it's too late. And, uh, and, again, I go back to, um, you know, that's foundational for, for Baylor. It's not just the athletic department. It's throughout the, uh, throughout the institution. And, uh, again, we've got great people. And, and one of my primary jobs is to, is to care about them, you know, care about them well beyond, you know, uh, the playing fields, the courts, the surfaces, and uh, and again, just grateful that uh, that Scott is uh, is going to remain a Baylor Bear. Very good. Final thought on that, and then we'll take a break and move on to some other subjects. But how uh, did he? When did he let you know that he had made his decision? Yeah, and, and again, so uh, I was never surprised through through any of this. Uh, we we talked constantly. Um, Anytime he had a conversation, he certainly, you know, talked to me. And, uh, you know, we, we talked, you know, um, what is today? I don't even know what today yeah, today's is. Today's Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> right. So, you know, I think we talked Tuesday night. Um, Tuesday, you know, four or five times. Tuesday night as late as 11.30 p.m. Yesterday we talked several times. Last night he called me at, a, at, a, at 11.30. We had a great conversation. And then he uh, – he called me this morning, and I don't know what time it was. It was in nine something to, to 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 let me know that um, he uh, he he wanted to remain a a Baylor Bear. Yeah. So, fantastic news. That's great. Thanks for sharing with us. We oh, appreciate you're welcome. That. All right, let's take a break. Back with more with Mac Rhodes, Baylor's director of athletics. Plenty of things we can cover with Mac. We'll do that and continue when we are back here on the Baylor Coaches Show. Are you ready to elevate your Waco experience to a whole new level? Look no further than the Baylor Club, where you can indulge in one-of-a-kind luxury and unwind in our exclusive lounge area. Located in the heart of McLean Stadium, this elite club offers a five-star member atmosphere for all your work and play. Right back, John. With a master culinary team and outstanding hospitality, we take pampering to a whole new level. For interest in membership or to schedule your next private event, call 254-710-8080. 
TFNB Your Bank for Life is the official local bank of Baylor Athletics. Find out why more Central Texans are making TFNB their bank for life. Sign up for our Edge Checking and Savings accounts to earn interest or cash back. With five convenient locations and an award-winning mobile app, banking has never been easier. TFNB Your Bank for Life. Member FDIC. Premier ER and Urgent Care has all the convenience of urgent care with all the expertise of an ER, all under one roof. At every visit, be seen by ER-trained staff with on-site lab and CT, X-ray, ultrasound, and EKG. Here, you pay for the appropriate level of care that you receive, and we are in network with most major insurance providers. Premier ER and Urgent Care has four convenient locations serving Texas, San Marcos, Temple, Waco, and Woodway. To learn more, visit www.premier.care. I hate my job, but I don't mind getting up in the morning. I dread each day, but I can't wait to get out of bed. You ask me why, and what I'll say to you is true. Well, you can get breakfast tacos at Rudy's Barbecue. Scrambled eggs and brisket, they ain't fooling around. Salsa drap sun, they're the best in town. Barbecue for breakfast, yes, it's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. Back with us live from Rudy's on the Baylor Coaches Show. We appreciate Rudy's, our great host, Rudy's Real Texas Barbecue. Real a distinct pleasure to have Baylor's Athletic Director, Mac Rhodes, with us tonight. It is the Baylor Coaches Show. Mac sort of coaches the coaches, so <laughs> it fits in perfect. And, uh, Mac, we uh, really appreciate your time uh, after a long stretch for you. Uh, talking about basketball, men's and women's, how about the move into Foster Pavilion at midseason. Now, what crazy person <laughs> thought that was a good idea to move in the middle of the season? John, I thought you had a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it uh, – you know, I, I think – just the season in, in Foster Pavilion, and, and again, so grateful to, to Paul and Alejandro Foster. But uh, I thought it, it really, for me personally, exceeded my expectations. Yeah. And, uh, and we knew we were taking a risk by doing it midseason. And again, I think we were painting hallways about two hours <laughs> before, before we opened it up. But uh, we were really intentional. We wanted to give our seniors an opportunity to play in, in that uh, – in that building and then we we also thought that you know in terms of the big 12 season competitive home court advantage that, that it was going to really provide that for for both programs and i and i think it did and you know such great energy i mean there's there were some games where i walked out of there i'm like holy cow i'm worn out man just <laughs> right. just from the just from the energy in the game and so i know if if you talk to our student athletes they will tell you um, what an unbelievable experience. And, uh, and they've actually taken the time, uh, our student athletes, to thank you know, everybody that, that helped pull that off because they, they really enjoyed it in the, in the environment. And, you know, uh, Henry Howard, Drew Pittman, uh, Will Lattimore, you know, so many others, um, uh, university facilities, Pat Carley, J.D. JD Deathrow. I mean, just – unbelievable uh, teamwork to, to get that done and so grateful for, for all of them, you know, all of the hard work that, the, that they put in. It took, uh, it really does take a village and it had to be all those people contributing uh, above and beyond to make that happen. And I thought it was very smooth, you know. I mean, that's a wild thing to do to move home facilities in the middle of the year. But I thought it went exceedingly well. You know, I mean, there were there were some things that I'm glad the audience didn't see, um, but uh, but it did. You know, for the most part, it went really really smooth. And then, you know, we're excited that you know sometime here in the summer we're going to open up the back end of the building, the the J and Jenny Allison, you know, uh, development center, and that's going to be a great great home for both programs, coaches' offices, practice gyms, locker room, you know, team lounge, dining area. Um, athletics, medicine, athletic performance, all of those, all of those components. And so, and, and sitting right there, right there on the river. Yeah. So um, we're, we're excited and, and again, so grateful to, to Paul and Alejandro Foster. Yeah, beautiful. That's going to be great when the rest of that building uh, is finished and opens up. Uh, and I thought we played, you talked about competitive advantage in Foster. I thought 
from the men's perspective, I thought we might have won two or three games this year at home that we might not have won if those games had been in the Farrell Center. Yeah, I, I agree with you, you know, um, absolutely. And, and those, those couple games typically would have, would have drawn, you know, 7,000, 8,000 in, in Farrell. And it's such a completely different feel yeah. versus filling that up, the energy, um, all of our fans right on top of the right on top of the floor, and I know this from opposing coaches. Uh, and you know, we, we we have relationships with uh, with the opposing coaches, both men and women. Talked about what a difficult place it was to play. Yeah, what your man Kelvin Sampson say when he was here? He uh, he uh, he was very complimentary. He was what? unbelievably complimentary. Yeah. And uh, one, he said he was he was lucky to get out of out of here with a <laughs> right. with a with a W. And uh, said, "Wow, that that is a really really hard place to play." And so. uh, a, a compliment echoed by a lot of coaches that came in to Foster Pavilion this year. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, let's talk about spring sports. Uh, football's Absolutely. going on. Spring football. We got other things to talk about with Mac. We'll do that as we continue live from Rudy's on the Baylor Coach. Show, and we'll be right back after this. The Toyota Tundra's powerful, available iForce V6 engine means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. To your neighbor, it means helping them with their new chainsaw carving hobby. What do you think of this thing, eh? It's a bearfish bird man wood carving, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. To your cousins, the Tundra means Woo-hoo! as they jump off the boat onto the sandbar. Now watch this flip. No, don't. You're going to cannonball. Definitely nail it. To your co-pilots, the Tundra means an extra comfortable journey. Cooling seats? They don't have this in first class. This is first class. I can just... (sighs) (laughs) You sure can. And to you, the Tundra means... Whoa. Test drive the Tundra at your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com today. Toyota, let's go places. See packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability. For a limited time, get high-performance, ultra-reliable internet from Astound Broadband, starting as low as $25 per month. And now we have mobile, too. Visit Astound.com to order the number one rated internet. Create the perfect plan with fast speeds to meet all your needs. Plus, get a two-year price lock when you upgrade to award-winning gig internet. No contracts, no hidden monthly fees, and no data caps. Switch today. Head to Astound.com or call 1-800-4-ASTOUND. Restrictions apply. See website for details. I hate my job, but I don't mind getting up in the morning. I dread each day, but I can't wait to get out of bed. You ask me why, and what I'll say to you is true. Well, you can get breakfast tacos at Rudy's Barbecue. Scrambled eggs and brisket, they ain't fooling around. Salsa drap, son, they're the best in town. Barbecue for breakfast, yes, it's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. Welcome back on the Baylor Coaches Show. Continuing to visit with Baylor's Athletic Director, Mac Rhodes, tonight here live from Rudy's. We really do appreciate you being here. We're here every Thursday, so you just come on and visit anytime you'd like, okay? Well, you know, I haven't been invited for no. two years. Oh, oh don't so give me that. I'm like, <laughs> um, in, the, uh, in the spirit of spring sports, I don't fill out the, uh, the lineup card. Uh, I think, okay, uh, okay. I think yeah, that you yeah, might. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You, you keep firing away. How about uh, the spring sports? What we've got going on now, baseball, softball, men's and women's tennis, yeah. men's and women's golf, acrobatics and tumbling is steaming toward – possible n- another national championship. We've got a lot of good things going on in the spring. We do. You know, spring's always an exciting time, and it's, it's exciting because you have so many things going on. And so you think about, you know, just like Glenn Moore and softball and ranked in the top 20, and we're certainly in position to win uh, or to host uh, a regional, hopefully. And, uh, by the way, you know, congratulations to, to Coach Moore. Uh, 900 Baylor wins. Fantastic. I think it happened this week, if it I did. remember. Uh, and so against right. UTSA. And uh, so excited about him. And, uh, you know, I think about baseball and, and Mitch. And we've won, you know, three out of the last five weekend series. And, you know, despite just an unfortunate, you know, uh, year when we think about injuries you know losing three to four starters for for the uh for the entire year but uh excited about what what he's doing by the way men's golf um mike mcgraw just won his 50th uh tournament of his career and 20th as a 
as a as the Baylor head coach, and so uh, I think they just finished uh, third in the tournament and uh, or won a tournament. Excuse me. Um, Women's golf just finished third at uh, a tournament SMU, and so who am I leaving out? Uh, acrobats and tumbling, right? No, best program uh, in the best world. Best program in the world. <laughs> um, fee, no pressure. Let's go get number nine. Um, so, and as you mentioned, uh, equestrian, the, both tennis programs. Uh, it was great to see see Joey. Had an opportunity to to meet with him a little bit earlier in the week, and uh, he's done a he's done a great job. I think uh, you know they beat. SMU again just yeah. most recently and I think that gets them into into postseason and uh, and uh, coach Woodson Michael's doing a great job with the uh, with the uh, men's program they'll go back to to the NCAA you know tournament and uh, what track and field uh, Mike Ford's doing a, again an unbelievable job we've got the number one long jumper in the in the in the country and uh, all of you come on out because we're going to host the outdoor uh, yeah. this year big 12 championships and so um Man, did I leave? Did I, I think we covered them all. Did, did, we, yeah. did we cover them all? Yeah. So, but uh, again, grateful for uh, for our coaches. We've got just man, we we have special uh, student athletes that um, really take care of business, both both on and off the the fields and in in competition in the in the classroom. Um, they continue to grow spiritually and and grow socially, and uh, just just really really proud of them. I said this earlier, it's the Baylor Coaches Show, and you're the guy who coaches the coaches. How, in your relationship and support of our coaches, how would you define your role there? Yeah, I, I think you described it actually, you know, e extremely, extremely well. Um, I want to be, you know, a resource for them and, uh, and certainly challenge them to, to grow and to get better. And, you know, all of us are living in this, in this current time and place in, in – in intercollegiate athletics where it's, you know, complete chaos. And uh, if we don't evolve as, as an organization, if we don't, starting with me, evolve as, as leaders, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to have a hard time, you know, competing here in the, in the future and, and continue to be nationally relevant. And so, you know, hopefully uh, I do a good job of, of really challenging them and, and prodding and, and, um, and, and working alongside side them. And, and uh, you know, uh, how do we, you know, how do we come up with really, you know, really good solutions to, to some, of, some of our challenges and, and know and understand that, hey, Today's solution may be much different a year from now, hmm. and uh, and so just you know that that type of understanding. And so, um, man, I really I, I that's that's one of the things that I love most uh, about my job is is working with our our head coaches. Yeah. They're great, great, great people, and um, that that makes the you know all the difference in the world. There is one other sport we didn't cover that's going on right now that would be spring football. And they're going through spring, headed toward their finale on April 20th. Uh, what, what have you seen? I don't know how much you've been out there, but what have you seen and, and heard from Dave uh, with so many new members of his staff, a lot of new on this team coming together here in the spring? Yeah, there, there is. And, you know, I think uh, today was, what, practice 11 of, of 15. And, um you know, I was really looking forward to once uh, basketball seasons ended, and um, man, what a what a great last game by women's basketball against USC, and uh, we're right there at the at the very end, and so proud of Nikki, and then certainly Scott and the uh, both both programs. But I was excited to like jump right in and right. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 get to practice and, and a little bit of a disruption, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, I'm excited. Uh, it's great to see, you know, Coach Aranda uh, coaching defense. Uh, it's brought out an edge in him, and uh, that's that's been pretty cool to see. And then, you know, just uh, the offense and um, a lot of energy and fast pace. And, um, you know, Jake has, I think, come on in and has done a, a great job. And, you know, certainly uh, Coach Miller, you know, offensive line and, um, Keaton Hall running running backs and Jared Anderson tight ends and and so um, really excited about about the offense and and then certainly you know uh, when you have the the best you know at one time when he was calling it the best 
defense coordinator in the country that's back in, in that seat. And he's added Jamar Chaney, I think, has been a, a great addition in terms of the, the, the linebacker uh, spot and Noakes at, at, uh, at the D line. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. And uh, I think that uh, did a really, really good job in the, in the portal. And I think it's a, it's a great blend with, uh, with the returners that we, uh, we have coming back. We didn't, you know, we, I, I think, you know, candidly, we lost one player that we probably wished we, we wouldn't have in the portal, but we're able to hang on and keep everybody else. And, and we were able to, you know, replace that, that person um, with, uh, with somebody out of the, the portal. So yeah. I'm excited about football. Yeah. So Same a lot here. of optimism. Exactly. Well, can't say how much we appreciate you being here tonight. Thank you very much. And uh, we got to wrap things up, but thanks for being here. Go get some rest. I'm going to find go. some time to get some rest. I'm going to go do that. And again, thank you to, to everybody that's that's here tonight. Thank you for what you do for our uh, our student athletes. It is impactful. It is meaningful. Um, we're going to keep pouring into our young people. Um, that's that's why we do what we do. That's that's our calling. And we couldn't do it with without you. And JMO, you are the best in the business. You're very thank kind. You. Thank you very much, Mac Rhodes, Baylor's director of athletics. Take a break, come back and wrap things up live from Rudy's right after this. Introducing the Sikkim Podcast, a weekly storytelling podcast produced by Sport & Story, the content team behind Baylor Plus. Hopefully people feel that I was approachable, but also that I knew the game. Hosted by me, John Morris, the Sikkim Podcast features in-depth interviews with current and former student athletes and coaches. Is a coach why you coaches to see other people happy and successful subscribe today wherever you get your podcasts sick em bears i hate my job but i don't mind getting up in the morning i dread each day but i can't wait to get out of bed you ask me why and what i'll say to you is true well you can get breakfast tacos at rudy's barbecue scrambled eggs and brisket they ain't fooling around salsa draft son they're the best in town Barbecue for breakfast, yes, it's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. Next in line. Premier ER and Urgent Care has all the convenience of urgent care with all the expertise of an ER, all under one roof. At every visit, be seen by ER-trained staff with on-site lab and CT, X-ray, ultrasound, and EKG. Here, you pay for the appropriate level of care that you receive, and we are in network with most major insurance providers. Premier ER and Urgent Care has four convenient locations... Oh, we're over. San Marco Temple, Waco. Yeah, no worries. Learn more. Yeah, yeah, just take like 30 seconds a minute to say goodnight. Because I was, because I like, people tuned in to hear him. You know what I mean? So like. Came in Waco for. So like, if we're a little bit late because he was talking, you know, that's cool. Sports outreach. Right. Our special guest. Oh, no worries. Yeah, uh, just you know, wrap it up at a good pace and we'll get back to the country. At 1130 a.m. at the Texas Sports Hall of Fame and tickets are available. <laughs> calling 254-710-8300. Join us as we hear from former Baylor great Alfred Anderson, presented by Baylor Alumni Sports Outreach. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. Coaches show here from Rudy's. Thanks to Joey Scrivano. Thanks to Mac Rhodes. And a great evening. Uh, really a, a celebratory mo mood in here with the news earlier today that Scott Drew is coming back as the head coach at Baylor. And we love that. We love Coach Drew and his family and look forward to great things coming up in the future. Thanks for being with us. We'll be back next Thursday with another edition of the Baylor Coaches Show. All right, J-Mo. Good hey, show. I'll holler at you tomorrow, bud. Right, show. It. Thank you. Thanks. Sports Media Network. Today's show was brought to you by Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, championship partner of Baylor Athletics. Visit Texas Farm Bureau Insurance online to find a local agent today. Baylor Scott & White Health, the official hospital and health care system of Baylor Athletics. Your health care. Beep.